everyone. Are you ready to learn our new lesson this week? Well, let's begin. This lesson, we will be talking about the words he, she, it, they, yours, my, these, those. Those words are what we call pronoun. When we say pronoun, it is a word that replaces a noun in a sentence. Instead of always using nouns, we have the pronoun to help us. The noun that we replace by a pronoun is what we call antecedent. When we say antecedent, it is a word which pronoun stands. These are first. Personal pronoun. When we say personal pronoun, it is used to replace nouns. So the name of a person, thing, animal, place, or event. For example, Jaisal and I went to the mall yesterday. We bought clothes for Christmas. So the pronoun here is we, and it talks about Jaisal and I. Next, we have the book is on the table. It is very heavy. So our pronoun here is it, and it talks about the book. Next, we have Joseph is part of the dance troupe. He joins in competitions too. So he here talks about Joseph. And lastly, Sandra and her friends went island hopping. They had so much fun. Our pronoun here is they, and it is talking about Sandra and her friends. A from personal pronoun. We also use possessive pronoun. When we say possessive pronoun, it is used to show ownership. For example, can I borrow your phone? Or the house is ours. Their car is very slow. It caused traffic. The books are hers. As you can see here, Possessive pronouns that usually end with s, ours, hers, theirs, it. They are usually after be verbs or linking verbs, which are the is, are, was, were. And pronouns that doesn't end with s, we have the your, their, my. It's usually preceded by a noun. We also have the compound personal pronoun. When we say compound personal pronoun, it is used to emphasize the noun or the pronoun itself. There are actually two types of compound personal pronoun. This is the reflexive and the intensive pronoun. When we say reflexive, it is usually to emphasize the noun and it's usually seen after the noun itself. For example, John himself assured us that the mail will be delivered. John himself assured us the mail will be delivered. So it's usually after the noun. And a reflexive pronoun can be omitted in the sentence. So if you take out himself here, John assured us the mail will be delivered. So even if you take out himself, you can still understand the sentence. And when we say intensive pronoun, it acts as the direct object. For example, Mary gave herself a much needed vacation. Mary gave who? Herself. So intensive here is a direct object and it cannot be omitted in the sentence. Another example for intensive. Fred and I treated ourselves to a movie. So ourselves here act as a direct object. And for intensive or reflexive rather, Jack bought the shirt for himself. And lastly, we have demonstrative pronoun. When we say demonstrative pronoun, it is used to show several nouns that may be for or near. This pronouns usually are used for pointing objects that are far or near. For example, that is a beautiful house. Or 
those apples are not for picking. This is my favorite song playing on the radio. These are my book collections. When we use that and those, these are objects that are far away. When we use this and these, these are objects that are very near. When we use that and this, it refers to a singular object. When we use those and these, these refers to plural objects. Those are all the four pronouns. The possessive, personal, compound personal pronoun, and demonstrative pronoun. We have here sentences, and let us look for the pronouns. First sentence, you yourself can solve this difficult problem. What pronoun can we find in this sentence? It's yourself. What pronoun is yourself? That's correct. It's a compound personal pronoun. What type of compound personal pronoun? It is reflexive. That's correct. Those strawberry pies were even better. It is those. Those is an example of demonstrative pronoun. Alexa joined us for breakfast yesterday. It is us, and us is an example of personal pronoun. And lastly, I have seen a snake. Its teeth are very sharp. Its here is an example of possessive pronoun. So those are all the pronouns that we need to discuss for these lessons. There are different pronouns that we'll be talking about in the next few weeks.